Yo, it's Ty, Fly Life, uh, 22 years old. Uh, we in the spot, rocking my boy Millie, straight out of Rockland County, Valley to be exact. And we hit it again, All right, boom. So, Fly Life, this is the first SLDM exclusive with somebody who isn't a rapper. <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to ask you is the infamous question we asked everybody here at the spot. Describe the Rockland County scene through the Fly Life's point of view. Like Rockland County as a whole? As a whole. Um, From before to now, all of that. I feel like before it was more like segregated, mm -hmm. like a lot. And I gotta give like some props to you because before that, I feel like everybody was just wanting to do their own thing too much to the point where like somebody would bring up somebody's name and then they would just be like, you listen to him or like, <laughs> big facts. Him? Like, like big now, like more people are like in tune, like more heavy people are in tune with more like, valley people, more new city people. So the point, like, I feel like it's a little bit more like together and less like beef. There's always like altercations and stuff, but I feel like it's like more unity, especially with the music. Especially with the music. And how do you feel with the clothing brands? Do you feel like it's the same thing with them, or it's just the rappers right now who got to hop? I think the rappers. Good. I think the clothing brands, there's a lot of clothing brands, but I feel like as a unity, I feel like the rappers are more, like in a community, are like more receptive to like the rappers, in my opinion. What do you feel um, like that? I don't know, I feel like more people, like, I don't know, I feel like since I'm in that lane, I just feel like I know like more people in the clothing lane just want to like, just do their own thing. You don't see really a lot of collabs really with the clothing brands. Not at all, You just see like single people just do their thing. In your lane, and then that's that. It's no really like come togetherness. I feel like somebody should just start it. We need a big, we need a big collab going on with these yeah, brands. Because it could be something crazy, because it could even help the music, to be honest. Or everybody just like rise. Who are some of the local clothing brands that the Fly Life is in tune with and likes and supports? Um, and the people you see doing their thing out here? I see my son Elijah doing his thing, Elijah Oscar doing his little movie. The ATC joint. Facts, he's been jacking that for a while. A long so time. Like, wow. Facts, and he always supported when I first started. Um, who else? I seen um, Xander Belt, his shit is dope. Like, Going crazy right now. I, like, I personally wouldn't wear some of the stuff. Word. But like, I see it, and I know, like, I could see certain people that be like, yeah, they'll crush that fit with that shit. That nigga's low key. I feel like a lot of niggas, I feel like he slept on him. Like, I feel like he makes some like good quality shit. Um, he got them hoodie bandit. Nobody knows what yeah, to call them. Yeah, that's what I'm Nobody talking about. Nobody know what to call them. I was like, Yo, but them shits is going crazy like, right let now. A, let, a, let a celeb wear that. They bro. did. Coyle Ray. Right, I, I remember I woke up at like 6 a.m. one day. I saw Coyle Ray. I sent it to his DM like, Yo. He told me, yeah, she bought like three off of him. <laughs> Once you and then once like somebody else see another celeb see, I think it went viral on TikTok too. The hoodie. It's gonna go crazy. That's crazy. Of course, SLDM. Um, New York is a nationality doing their thing. Um, there's a lot to be honest. Shit. I mean, I'll probably think of something later, but there's a lot. There's a lot of people. There's a lot. Oh, Not optimistic! Yet. Oh yeah, he's coming. Optimistic on this thing. Killing it. Killing it. Um, yeah. Word. So before before we jumped into the interview, we had a little problem trying to describe what exactly Ty is and what does he do. Why do you feel like you have a hard time describing yourself? Are you are you just involved in a lot or? Yeah, I just feel like, like I don't want to take credit for anything, right. but like I feel like. I know like certain people that like, I do this clothing shit like as a hobby because I like like clothes. You're also one of the originals too. Yeah. Fly Life been around for a minute. Facts. And um, but like a lot of people like do stuff in the town, and I know like like a good amount of people. I feel like I put people in certain situations where right. like they wouldn't know or like they wouldn't like be connected to certain things if I didn't put them in tune with it. Like certain people haven't like shot videos for certain rappers if. I ain't be like, oh yeah, I know that person. I can right. put you in tune when I hit them up. Da, da, da. Now, that video was popping or like, that had a good relationship. Now y'all doing videos all the time together and stuff like that. So I feel like 
I don't know, like I wouldn't just call myself like a designer. designer. Right, because not only are you doing that, you're also like, yeah, I'm like dot connecting, a curator. Not, yeah, like curator. A curator. Like, curator. Like, not that it's a job, like I just like doing it. I like helping people. So like, right. oh, you need that? Oh, I think I know somebody. I don't know for you. It's like why limit yourself, you know? Exactly. Put things together. But so being that the Fly Life is one of the original brands out here, how did the Fly Life get started? How, where did the name come from? The Fly Life is a very popular name out here. Sometimes I'll be like, you know Tyler? They'll be like, Tyler? I'll be like, the Fly Life. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So where did the Fly Life come from? Honestly, it's like the weirdest story. So like, this is back in like the Tumblr days. And like, I ain't have... I was trying to figure out what my Tumblr name was gonna be, bro. And like, I feel like in that era, it was a whole bunch of like fly shit. Everybody's going like snapbacks. Or and, Mitchell and Ness. Like, yeah, Mitchell and Ness and Beep. Obey. Yeah, I was like, all right, this shit got me some fly shit. So I'm like, fly. And I'm like, and I just put fly in life. And I was like, the fly life. I don't know. I just I just put it together and then I made it my Tumblr name. I made it here, right? And then after that, after that, I made it, um, then I put it as my Twitter, and after Twitter, I made it my, I put it as, like, my middle name, as my, like, Facebook. After that, I put it as my Instagram, and then, so I just made it for everything, and after that, a lot of people didn't know how to pronounce my last name either. Right. So, like, when you ask who's Tyler, they were like, like, guru. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, this is just, like, and then it was just say fly life. And then it kind of got like caught on, especially when I came to the It hits. It hits. Yeah. It hits. Yeah, that's, that's literally how it happened. That is crazy. I, like, I remember <laughs> I remember the NR days. Everybody was like, Yo, you know the fly life? You know the fly life? You know the fly life? At first, I know Tyler. I'm like, the fly life? I'm like, well, Tyler. So, all right, I guess. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. No, that's lit. That's so, fire. Someone was at the mall and somebody was like, yo, that's the fly life. Right. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, the fly. I mean, look. And then, so. What? made you want to sell the fly life because um, at first it was just a name yeah i don't know i felt like the name was cool enough like to be honest i was like i feel like this could be a brand to be honest like i liked clothes like, i like dressing up going out and stuff like that so i was like might as well like just make it like, at first i just wanted to make it for myself right and just wear shirts to go out like and just have my name on it to be honest like every other person exactly what's your name everywhere right. oh and then um, I was just like a lot of people like low key kept hitting me up like yo like let me get one so I'll just give one person here there, one person there, and then I don't know it just kind of caught on like when I first started like it caught on like crazy like crazy crazy so I just kept going with it. What was that? So I see you have one of your tees on right now. Before we get into that, right? I want to know the inspiration that came behind your first logo like like the rocket mm -hmm. and, and how did that come about what made what 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 made that pop up in your head what exactly was it describe it to the people uh, I, I don't even know i was like fly let me think of something something that's like has to do with fly right so like the first logo is a rocket basically it's a rocket and then i was thinking like what things do i like Cause I didn't want the rocket just to be like a regular rocket. So I was like, I like basketball, I like jewelry, I like money. So like coming out the rocket was a basketball, a football, diamonds, money. Now, it just looked different. Like it looked, it looked like it was fire. It was fire. <laughs> I seen it. I was just like, I definitely seen it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this shit is different. So I was like, all right, throw that on there. And I was like, let me just get a, a font. And shout out to Gonzo. He's the one that. Made I was to say, yeah, where Gonzo didn't did Gonzo make that shit. My first one. Where? So yeah, shout out to him. And then he sent it to me. I was like, all right, we need to find out a font. Put a font. Put the TFL in the middle. Right. And then it went from there. So how did you educate yourself to make? A better logo and it's I see it's more mm -hmm. simple so it's like yeah. it's like it's less you know yeah. well, how did you educate yourself to this I level here to the people because they wanted like not everybody wants to wear like something that's like super out there right so, like super like distinct to like a rocket all the time so I was like let me make something that like everybody can wear instead of like only like one crowd that one wear so then I just came up with this so what is your process behind your creativity right so when Tyler 
is now getting ready to put out his next line, right? Some people like to sit down, smoke. Some people like to just go around, stare at things for an inspiration on their next move. What is your process behind the moves that you make? Um, I just be letting stuff come to me. I don't like to force stuff a lot. So like, I could just be at work like this. I made this at work. Right. Literally, I was like on my downtime. I was at work, like working a 12 hour shift. And it was just slow. So I was just like on the computer, just like playing with fonts, playing with uh, logos and stuff like that. And I literally just came up with this and like on my back, like at work. So it's like, I never just be like in the stool, like just drinking or something like that. And just like going crazy, going right. hard. Even though I feel like sometimes I should, but I just rather like, like me feel it. Like like how some people don't write they raps, they go in the studio and they just chill and they, they probably get vibe. and then they vibe and then they that'd be me. Like I just sit down, catch myself thinking, alright, so then now I'm gonna think of an idea. Alright, boom, alright, now I gotta write it down or like go on the computer. Draw it out. Yeah, draw it out, do this, this and this and then that's how this came out well. Like popular loner. Um like I literally was thinking, like I was thinking about myself at right. the time. Like, at the end of the day the brain is you. Yeah, I was thinking about right. myself, so I was like, sometimes, like, I feel popular, like, sometimes when I go out, I wouldn't say popular, but, like, like, I know, I know a decent amount of people, so, like, sometimes I go out, see people, everyone want that. It's love, high. right. Yeah, just like, I know, I know the script, man, it's just ridiculous out here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say popular, because, like, I don't Nah, it's popular, bro. We some popular dudes, not going front. <laughs> I'm not going front. So then, but then it is what it is. I feel like I'm a loner because if I go to a party, if you know me, I'm not the person that's like super out there. I'll be in the cut like with, John. My, like with my boy. Right. Like I'm not trying to make new friends. Like no you new see friends. Me. Like I'm like I'm I'm a good like how do I explain it? Like I I have a good personality and once you get to know me, like I'm gonna talk to you. But, but you're not for everybody. Yeah, I'm not the first person that's gonna go out. Like I'm low key shy. Like if you come up to me, then yeah. Right. I, to I, I do the same shit. <laughs> so that's why I was like, all right. I, I could wear that, like, popular loner, loner, that's me. Like, I could put that on a shirt. But then I also want to put something, like, with Rockland on it. Because I feel like nobody has, like, anything that's, like, for Rockland. Like, right. They don't say it has nothing to do with Rockland on it. So I was like, all right, let me see if I could add that onto it, too. You feel me? And see if, like, it catches on. So that's why I want to put the A4 font. Because for Rockland, that's everybody's every comes A4 font. So I was like, people see that, they probably... Don't want to jump on it. Maybe they not. You feel me? It was like low key a hunch. Like people see Rockland that live over here. Low key, you're probably like, I don't want to support no Rockland stuff. Word. Like, four, five, Word. Like, I was like, alright, let me let me do it anyway. See like what it do. But like, the response was good. So. What's one thing you wish you knew when you when you first started making clothes? Um, first thing. Um. I wish I knew how to like write down all my like expenses mm. and put everything in order instead of not knowing what money I'm putting in and out and stuff like that. Why do you say that? Because like you just be all over the place. Like you think you're making money, but you're spending more money than you actually make it. Right. Some order. people don't realize them XL sit there for a little exactly. while. <laughs> so the, the neon green is sitting. Yeah, the neon some of the orange like. <laughs> Some people just want a black and gray and a navy blue and that's that, you feel me? <laughs> that's that. So it's like, I wish I like had everything just more like organized instead of just like, all right, let me get all this stuff and then I'm going to sell all of it. Right. Because it's all going to sell it and like everything's going to go perfectly no. and then... <laughs> then you'd be left with a car full of stuff and then you begging. <laughs> like, you dropping prices and... Yeah, and like, oh, $10 a hoodie. <laughs> That you just want it back. That's a big Please. fact, though. Um, so, what do you think? What do you say is different about the fly life? I wouldn't say compared to everyone else, mm -hmm. but if you were to think of something that made the fly life stand out, um, what would you say it is? Um, I feel like me. I just know like my shit. Like I'm not. Yeah. I can't really speak for everybody else, but I just know me, like, I'm doing this, like, because it's, like, I'm not trying to, like, be in competition, I'm not trying to outdo the next person, I just know it's, like, coming, like, from me, like, I actually want to see people, like, wearing my stuff, I just don't want your money, you feel me like that, like, 
I actually like when I see people like in the mall or like at a park or something like that and I see it on me, I'm like, yo, like it's lit. It's lit, like that's my shit. Like I'm glad like somebody actually like took their time out the day to give me that bread to rock it and actually want to support it. Instead of just like, I right, let me cop all this. I don't like the other dude that's selling that one. So let me just cop all his and then like go to the like, why you cop that? Why you cop this? Why you cop that? Like that's not lit. Like like I don't really care, to be honest. I feel like that's the some some people might be in competition with the next person. Right? It's a big fact. So you so Fly Life does this because he's passionate about it. Yeah. All right. So is it just Tyler or is there a team in the background? There's a team. There's a team. So talk about your team and the people you're surrounded by and what they do for you and the brand. So I got my boy Esco, my boy Swaggy, I got my cousin Dave, my boy Dre, I got my man behind you, Star. All support. Star in the building. That interview coming. Thanks. Everybody support. Like everybody there. I tell anybody pull up, pull up to the shoot. I tell niggas like. Anything like yo, we need ten bands to go buy mad clothes. They will like probably bitch at me, but it's gonna happen. Like, right. They gonna like everybody's gonna come through. Like there's never like no beef or like static or anything. Also, have my cousin Hakeem, Views, Phil. Um, yeah. Ghost. I don't know if I said Ghost, but yeah. So these are like, like these are like. The create, do they help you with the creative process? Yeah, Are they, they the sales black, team? Like, when I first made this, I sent it to them and I was like, yo, y'all fuck with this? Right. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, yo, like, let me know. They're like, yeah, nah, it's tough. So, like, and they also, like, sell for me, too. Like, they do their own thing. Like, I don't ask for nothing. Like, you get your bread, how you get it, and we all just put our money back into it and then do what we do. So, was it always curating and and designing and being this fly guy or was there a career path before all this like a football player a doctor I I in the NFL, I'm not gonna lie. yeah yeah but then north falcon came i'm not gonna lie to oh you. we know that one got distracted <laughs> <laughs> got the, distracted the racism the white yeah, girls say, you know, the man. parties yeah. holy shit especially was, the politics though yeah it was a lot of politics like niggas don't even know king was nice in football man they tried to <laughs> Bro, they gave me one shot and I did it. But then they bro, took bro. that from me too. <laughs> bro, dude caught a game winning touchdown. It was like, nah, he black. Bro, the first it. pass they gave it to me. Bro, the playoffs. Bro, niggas just threw it deep. I took that with one hand like Odell. Mm, I ain't really reached like that. But it was one hand. Real did in. Niggas was like, look, the refs looked at each other. It was like, nah. Yeah, I was like, bro. everybody bro. bugged. Was, that's man, crazy. but this ain't about me. We about to fly life right now. Yeah, yeah. They tried to take fly life out too, man. He should have been that outside linebacker, nah, words and in the wing. They yeah, played us, playing, bro. bro. Me and Tyler yeah, alone Tyler. on a no. scout no. offense. No. I remember we played that nigga. I smoked this little boy. We killed y'all, <laughs> bro. I remember on a scout offense. Wow. It was me and fly life. It was bread and butter. Wow. We wow. scored on our starting defense <laughs> in <laughs> six <laughs> plays. <laughs> Good Jack him too. We scored on them niggas in sixth place. I remember I hit Tyler with the touchdown dead to his chest. That's different. I think it's been yeah. on the start. Right. Oh, what the fuck? Exactly. If we do that on our, <laughs> on our starting defense, why are we not starting on offense? Word. That's no problem for you. Literally. And that's literally what they'll do. Big distraction, bro. I was like really focused and I was like, yeah, like I'm gonna come here from Rampo, show them I could do my thing. Oh my God. Well, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to the show with these then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we did that too. Like, it was like then I got distracted, so it wasn't really like always yeah, like. Well, I wish I would have started this in high school because I feel like it would have been way bigger now. Like you probably wish you would started. Like you, like you understand, like the way the way people we had love back then. Like you get grown, so you and everybody was closer. Everybody we saw closer each other every, every day. day. Now you only see a nigga. So like, if yeah, you have some type of pull now is like. Good. Like, take advantage. Yeah, take advantage of it because that thing is probably leave like a couple months. Like people won't fuck with you. <laughs> Graduation, summer's over. Yeah, like college, new friends. You forget about ninety percent of those people overnight. For real. I don't remember any of my teachers' names. I swear, I dad only remember like two. No cap. Yeah, it's bad. I don't, I don't even remember the gym teachers because they're the coolest. <laughs> so, um, being that you said you one thing you wish you knew was. Where you were allocating your money with the brand. Mm -hmm. Talk about how important it is to understand the business behind this 
fashion shit. Nah, it's really important because like you could really lose money like with any business. If you just put all your eggs in one basket and don't have everything written down, you don't save your receipts, like you will really like be broke. Like that has happened to me. Like not broke in the sense of like I had no money, but right. I spent way more money on stuff where if I just would have wrote it down, then I would know, all right, let me not buy this much of stuff because nobody's buying that. Let me just get the blacks, the grays, the blues, the this. Because this size, more of this yeah, size like this to keep size. up in case this one. Yeah, because like you're just gonna make yourself look crazy, especially if you have a customer and they're like, I right, do you have this color. And it's like a regular color, but you're like out of it and you don't have their size. So like it's just smart to like have everything jotted down, put it in your notes, like write it in a notepad, or like have like a board or something like that and just put it like in your room so you just know like Make sure you stay on track. How much you made every day, yeah, all that. If you like just mess up, like, I don't know. I feel like it throws me off, bro. Like, I always calculate how much money I'm supposed to make off of each, like, thing. So, like, if it's a little bit off, like, I'm just like, did I lose a shirt? Did I lose a hoodie? Did I lose a disc? But, like, what happened? Like, something's off. So, I always try to, like, make sure everything's good. So, I'm just not, like, going crazy. But, yeah, that's for everything, though. So, what are some accomplishments that we should expect to see from the fly life within the next five years five years um more photo shoots more hopefully COVID's going more photo shoots more uh talent shows i mean it's a talent shows um fashion shows um trying to do some pop-up shops god told you about that we need to do a pop-up shop big facts big facts um and just like more like curating because I don't want to just do just this. This is just like the start of it. Like I really like the music a lot. Like not even making music, but like I have a good ear for stuff. So like I know when stuff is like hot, hot, not nah, right. I know when some, some like an a &R. About to pop. Yeah, I know when somebody's about to pop or they like just need a little tweak. Like you just tell them this and then they're going to be good to go. Then you, nice. that person going to get it. So it's like I'm trying to like switch my life from nine to five working to like working my job but like working enough to where like i still have time to like focus on like what i really want to do so that's what i really want to do who are some artists in the town that the fly life is rocking with because they're going to be watching this um i fuck with my boy cash I fuck with two wavy my boy star um who else i fuck with um, what's that little nigga's name? He literally lived down the street. Damn. Sicko? Nah, not sicko. Damn, son. Let me look at my phone. Uh-oh. He he got the he got the nav type flow. Presto. Presto, presto. Yeah, I fuck with presto heavy. His, his, his flow is like really his flow is elite for like a, a little like a young dude. Um was CJ. Um, easy, full clips, drop the crazy banger. Um, there's a lot of people. There's a lot, a lot of people. Hope I'm not missing anybody. Um, a bad memory. But I'm um, off. Oh, damn, but those who I listen to like the most. All right. Once again, we at the spot. It's your boy Ty. Um, dropping some new stuff in the fall. Got some 845 popular Luna gears booming right now. Um, shout out to everybody that supports. Um, shout out to SLDM for the interview. I can follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat at the Fly Life. Two E's at the end. Snapchat is I am the Fly Life for two E's at the end. I'll let you boy.